I am looking at these two breakout boards for the micro bit. They're both by Leck Freaks. Uh, this one is just the breakout board, I think they call the octopus. And this one is the motor bit board. The basic breakout board is $13 and the motor bit is $14. You can get them at robotshop.com. You can get them at electfreaks.com if you're over in uh, Europe, Britain, um, because that's where it's from. You can also look on Amazon for the price. Uh, a couple Sometimes on Amazon, prices are a little bit higher because people want to make some money, which is okay. Uh, the, big di the big difference between them, as you notice, they are all getting pins accessible to you from the micro bit because again on the micro bit only zero one and two are really accessible with alligator clips so we have some male heads here for all the pin outs you notice that some are yellow some are blue that's because one nice thing that elect freaks does is allows some of the pins to go to five volts and the other pins are three now again the micro bit only wants three so if you're powering through the micro bit it's taking in three and using three now, what the breakout board does nicely is they've got a little power conversion thing in there that sends, that switches that voltage to the blue pins to 5 volts. Why do you want 5 volts? Well, there are some sensors, some devices like uh, servos and motors that work better with 5 volts. Here is an example of one. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, the biggest reason for the, uh, so, that, so they both do that, and there is a switch for going from three to five volts. Same with on the uh, motor bit. There's a switch to change from three to five volts, just in case you don't need the five um, for those pins. The motor bit also has, again, it's a motor bit, so it's got things designated for the motors. I haven't played with running motors on this yet. It's probably way, but there's some, it's designed for <laughs> motors, so there's some drivers, some motor drivers in there. The uh, motor bit also has a little buzzer speaker built into it, whereas the breakout board does not. One thing the breakout board does have is some designated I squared C plugins as well as SPI. Uh, there are some sensors and things that are those kind of things. For example, this little 16 by 2 array, LCD array, is an I squared C. Now, it doesn't mean you can't plug an I squared C into here. You can because it really is using pins 19 and 20 so all you have to do is plug it into pins 19 and 20 and it works but this one is set up for three I squared C inputs and this one you can only do one because you can plug in straight to 19 and 20. As with all of our breakout boards you need to have an assortment of wires Obviously some female ends because they're male point pins here. So female to alligator clip, female to female, and these are female to male because uh, the S C is a male input on that, but or female, yeah, male input to a female. And on here, it's a, it, we do need a female to female because these are females here. Um, you power this straight from the micro bit. So whatever power you have for your micro bit it goes into that. And let's plug that in. And you see the board kind of lit up a little bit, but didn't really display because this board is a five volt board. It needs five volts to actually work. There are some three volts I think out there maybe. Hard to find. So that is the reason for having that three to five volt switch. So there is that 16 by two array. Oh, and if you don't remember that there's a little dial on the back to tweak the, um, volt, tweak the uh, output. As with everything, you always need a nice little set of tools. Let's see if I can do this so you can see it. See as I turn the dial. It changes how the output's looking. So that's, that's for you to fine tune things. Um, now the motor bit is powered by 
some DC in, and they want six. It wants six to nine volts because of the motor thing. It, to run motors well, it helps to have more power. And I had a coin cell battery pack holder, so it's two three volt batteries, and they had it was a JST clip like that, right there. And I just clipped it off and then um, stripped the wires to plug 6 volts in. Also, there are many 9-volt uh, clips that come already without the JST on it that you can plug in to use. Uh, another nice thing about the motor bit, it's got an on-off switch. This does not. Um, so it's a matter of what you, what you like. Uh, do you want the speaker? It's really a buzzer, so it doesn't do great sound. Or do you need motors? Do you not need motors? They're only a dollar difference in price, so it's a matter of what do you need? Do you need more I2C components? Do you, do you not want to have to input voltage externally uh, to the board? Let's see if I can quickly do this. I'll just switch over. Uh, I think I gotta switch these over. And with some pins. Let's see. Ground and voltage. Making sure you're plugging things in right. Ground, I made orange. Said ground is orange, red is power. And I need two for the pin 19 and 20, which are often labeled on here SDA and SCL. They are also labeled that on a micro bit pin out. So you know which goes to which. So pin 20 is SDA, and that's green for me, which means 19 is going to be the yellow pin. And having fat fingers doesn't help on this. Um, hey, let's see if it works. Ta-da! It works, but we have to adjust the input. I have something plug oh that's what I have plugged wrong. Like it's powered, but it's not getting this the right. Which means I did something wrong. Twenty is SDA, which is green. Because my 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 word isn't popping up. ground hmm oh well so I did something I messed something up I gotta look at that I mean the power is right it's on it's on obviously it's on just get the power I knew that switch mid video wasn't gonna work all right well there are electric fix boards it worked before because I did it just straight I just have to look and see what I'm plugging in wrong maybe just Plugging something in wrong. All right, we'll try again. So it wasn't, as I said, it wasn't showing up a bef moment before. I unplugged, plugged things back in. That actually wasn't it. I had to dial it all the way up on the back. Um, that was the only problem. So it does work on both.